It is incredibly rare to have a collection of this size come to auction. It comes from Monroe's acting coach, Lee Strasberg, and includes such personal items as letters, purses, furs, and jewelry, both real and costume. You know, Marilyn, you think diamonds are a girl's best friend. You would expect her to be dripping in diamonds. In fact, Marilyn loved costume jewelry. Most of her jewelry was costume, which we have in this auction. But there's also a couple of very fine pieces of jewelry, including this amazing watch, really tiny wrist worn by Marilyn Monroe. It's a blanc pan uh, wrist watch uh, with diamonds on the bracelet, diamonds on the watch face itself. We estimate that 80 to 120,000, which is one of the most uh, highly priced items in the auction. Twelve of Monroe's paintings, including crayon drawings and watercolors, are for sale, along with Monroe's handwritten poems. She also wrote, wrote poems, poems that were published in the book Fragments in 2012, and they are now coming to the auction block again. Just speaks to the you know, intellectual side of Marlin, the artistic side of Marlin. And then you have other notes and letters that she wrote, and including record books, and it sort of speaks to the sensitivity and also the vulnerability of Marlin. There is also a case that belonged to her ex-husband, baseball legend Joe DiMaggio. When she passed away, under her bed there was this jewellery case, owned, a crocodile jewellery case, uh, owned by Joe DiMaggio with his initials on the case. And interesting also is the combination code for the case is 555. And of course people will know that his number for the New York Yankees was number 5. So that's a really nice piece and very interesting that, you know, she actually held on to that and it was under her bed uh, when she passed away. The items will go on the auction block November the 19th and 20th in Los Angeles, 54 years after the actress's death.